Microplastics are probably the most important toxin of the 21st century, and we all have them in us. They've been found in human testicles, placentas, and all kinds of other tissue. Until now, there was very little research on eliminating them from the body, but there is some new data that could change all of this. In fact, the specific compound I will talk about in this video was able to increase microplastic release from cells by millions of particles within just 36 hours of the first dose. This was the highest level ever recorded by the lab that did the testing. So let's look at this experiment in more detail and talk about what that means for microplastic detox and your health protocol. To start off, I've recorded several videos on microplastics in the past, and the most popular one basically talks about sauna helping you eliminate plastic particles more effectively by bypassing the liver and sweating them out through your skin. But there is another problem that I only glanced over in that video, which is intracellular lockup. You see, a big part of the danger of microplastics isn't just that they're floating around in your bloodstream and irritate your tissue. It's that once they enter your cells, it's very hard to get them out again. When you're exposed to microplastics by drinking water, eating food, or just breathing the air around you, some of these particles get absorbed by your cells, especially immune cells called macrophages. These cells recognize the microplastics as foreign objects and try to digest them by locking them inside compartments called lysosomes. But here's the catch. Lysosomes can't break down that plastic. So it just sits there trapped in kind of a cellular jail. Over time, this starts to cause problems. The lysosomes can rupture, which would then trigger inflammation. The cells could also stop working altogether. And even though you can sweat microplastics out to some degree, you obviously first need to get them out of your cell before doing that. Until now, there hasn't really been a single proven method to do that. And this is where John Brodvig comes into play. He's a researcher who's been experimenting on himself with different detox and longevity tools. He recently ran a very simple but powerful test that I will link in the description. The article is very well written and you should definitely check it out. Basically what he did was take a large dose of sulforaphane and then measure his microplastic levels in the blood before and after. Now to give you some context, sulforaphane is a natural compound that is found in broccoli, especially broccoli sprouts. It's known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, and a lot of people in the holistic health space are already using it. But Brodvig had a different idea. What if sulforaphane could actually mobilize stored microplastics when it's inside your cells? So here's what he did. He took 100 milligrams of sulforaphane in supplemental form. He also measured his blood microplastic levels before taking that dose using a new kind of lab test that can detect particles which are 10 to 70 microns in size, and then he weighed it. Around 36 hours after the dose, something wild happened. His blood microplastic levels spiked massively. The lab report showed a huge increase in the number of particles floating around in his bloodstream, millions more than before. So what does that mean? Well, it suggests that sulforaphane helped his cells expel the microplastics that they had been storing for so long. You see, sulforaphane helps activate something called the NRF2 pathway. Think of NRF2 like a master switch for all of your body's detox and antioxidative systems. When you flip that switch, a bunch of things happens. Your cells start producing more antioxidant enzymes, they turn on repair systems, and most importantly, they ramp up autophagy. As you probably already know, autophagy is your cell's natural cleanup process. It breaks down damaged particles and recycles them. But there's another piece that's even more interesting here, lysosomal exocytosis. This is just a fancy way of saying your cells open up its lysosomes and dump the content outside the cells. This is usually used to get rid of waste or respond to infections. But what this experiment suggests is that exocytosis can be used in a way that allows cells to finally push microplastics back out into the bloodstream. Once those particles are then there, they are no longer hidden. Now your liver, kidneys, lymphatic system, and your skin can help clear them up and get them out through bile, urine, or sweat. This is huge because it means sulforaphane offers a way to unlock those long stuck particles and give your body a second chance to actually remove them. Now, of course, this is just a single experiment done on one person using a relatively new testing method. It's very early, but the results are exciting and point in a direction that has been a bottleneck until now. 
And there are two more things that we can take away from it. One, intracellular detox matters. This experiment reminds us that toxins are usually not floating around in your blood. I've been saying this on my channel for years, and it's the reason why toxin blood testing is so misleading. Most of them are buried deep inside your cells and tissue, not just microplastics, but also toxic metals, for example. And second, sulforaphane is more powerful than we thought before. People are already using it for brain health, inflammation, and even for cancer prevention. But this new angle as a mobilizer of stored cellular plastics is a very big deal. It adds another layer to why this compound is worth including in your routine. Of course, as so often, these types of experiments also raise a lot of new questions. The most important one is how can you, so the everyday person, take advantage of this and do you need a sulforaphane supplement or is eating broccoli enough? In theory, broccoli alone would be enough, especially broccoli sprouts, because they contain sulforaphane precursors that when they're converted in your body, activate the same NRF2 pathway and would therefore stimulate cellular detox. So this is the same exact process that was used in the experiment. But cooking destroys this enzyme, which means cooked broccoli often delivers very little usable sulforaphane. And even when it's raw or has just been lightly steamed, the yield from a whole head of broccoli is only around 10 to 25 milligrams at best, which is a lot lower than the 100 milligrams that was used in the experiment. Broccoli sprouts would be a better option because they contain around 20 to 100 times more of these sulforaphane precursors than normal broccoli. And they also retain more active myrosinase. Around 30 to 60 grams, so a small handful, of fresh three-day-old sprouts can yield up to 100 milligrams of sulforaphane if you prepare them correctly. By the way, chewing them also helps activating the enzyme, so always chew your food well. Of course, you could also just buy a normal supplement, but I always like to cover nutrients with food first and only use supplements when absolutely necessary, especially because food is digested more slowly and usually comes with other important cofactors which reduce side effects. Also keep in mind that preformed sulforaphane supplements are more rare and often unstable unless they have been specifically processed. So most supplements will actually also just have precursors that need to be activated in your gut, even if they say that they contain sulforaphane. Also, the other important question that we need to ask ourselves is how do you get the microplastics out of your body once they've been mobilized? For this, please watch the video that I talked about before. It goes over the complete protocol, how to support your elimination organs, and how sauna helps you sweat it out. We're still in the early days of understanding microplastics and what they're doing to our body. But what's becoming clearer and clearer is that these particles are more than just environmental pollution. They are real health issues that build up over time and hide deep inside our cells. And in recent years, we have learned a lot and there are definitely ways to get a hold of this problem before it overwhelms you. Also, if you're looking for more info on toxin elimination, exact supplement dosages and dedicated protocols, not just for microplastics, but also for heavy metals, excess estrogen and forever chemicals, make sure to check the description where I link my detox masterclass. It shows you how to get rid of all the toxins that we're exposed to every day and covers things like diet, supplements and elimination pathways. For more info, just open the description. It's listed under my programs.